Hi there, my name's Paul. Uh, I'm an electrician. I work with a local West London electrical firm uh, called My Electrician. Um, I've been working in the industry for approximately three years. I've not always been an electrician. Um, and I um, trained um, to do this as a retraining. Um, if I was slightly younger and wanted to get into the industry, say sort of between the ages of 18 and 23, there are a number of routes that I could have taken. Um, firstly, at the moment, the best route to get into the industry um, is a government-backed scheme. Um, the government's big on training British people uh, for British jobs. Um, so there's a lot of financial support that you can actually get from the um, government. Um, and they, the scheme they run are very good. Um, they um, not only set you up with college, they also set you up with certain contractors um, which can sort of almost fast track your training. Um, the way I basically did it um, was I um, decided to come out of the career that I was in, looked on the internet for companies who gave um, training. Um, it, it was a theory training course. Um, went through that in, in five weeks, although it was quite expensive. Um, but found after that I needed at least six months worth of practical experience before I could actually really call myself an electrician. Um, initially, um, salaries what, uh, wasn't good, but as I say, it only took six months before you, I was up to a stage where I was at a competitive rate. There are different parts of the um, of the trade. Um, you can go to uh, three really routes of what you found most interesting. Um, there's a commercial side which covers basically shops and uh, and offices, and the industrial side which is big factories, big uh, machines, and the domestic side which is basically houses and people's places of residence. Um, they're all slightly different but obviously all fall within the same umbrella and all as interesting as one another. The type of person you would really need to be um, to really be successful, um, you basically need to have a, a level of mathematics. You don't obviously need to be any type of Einstein, but just a, a, a general GCSE standard is, is absolutely fine. And there are certain situations that you actually find while you're on a job um, that you need, you need it. Um, if you, uh, you get different size cables regarding uh, to how much electricity something's using or a circuit's going to use. So you have to make a calculation to what size cabling that you need um, for the specific job. So this is why the, a, uh, a level of mathematics is reasonably important. Um, also you need to be quite focused and very reliable. Um, and also if, you, if you're the type of person who can focus the mind, it really does help. Um, it certainly would help you fast track your career as um, lots of employers look for these type of people.